This morning, a Northeast Albuquerque neighborhood is back to normal after a SWAT situation lasts for hours. Police were looking for a wanted fugitive believed to be in an apartment complex near Pennsylvania and Montgomery. The ordeal lasted six hours. Cops believe that 27 year old Chris Perea, who was wanted for more than a dozen armed robberies here in Texas and in Colorado, was hiding in an apartment. Around 11 30 last night, police entered the apartment to find Perea was not there. We would consider him a, a violent felon and that we, he, he needs to be treated as such. Uh, that he's armed. Uh, it's very in, it's indicated right now that you know we're trying to been trying to establish communication with him, uh, and he's refusing to communicate with us. Uh, that he's not possibly going to go out go down without some sort of uh, altercation with police. Authorities aren't sure where Perea is right now, but again, they say he is armed and dangerous. Albuquerque's police chief says the police shooting from Monday in a crowded restaurant parking lot near Coors and I-40 could have been a lot worse. Take a look. This is video from an officer's lapel camera. Police chief Ray Schultz says that Vice Sergeant Jason Peck, who's been with the department for 11 years now, shot this man, Dominic Morisolis, in the chest. He's still in the hospital in critical condition. Schultz says it's all started with an undercover drug deal where Morris Solis got into an undercover detective's car to buy $240 worth of heroin. The chief says when other officers went to arrest Morris Solis, he started to struggle with the detective in the driver's seat and pointed his gun at officers running up to the car. I think this could have very easily been a much more tragic situation than it ended up. Police say Morris Solis is a known gang member and has been in trouble with the law in the past. Sergeant Peck is on standard paid leave. While police investigate the shooting. Well, the family of the teenager charged with leaving her young nephew in a sweltering car where he died on Monday is hoping she gets out of jail today. Sandra Rodriguez Miramontes is charged with child abuse resulting in death. Police say she told them she forgot the boy was sleeping in her car when she went to work early Monday morning at the Precious Moments Daycare Center in Northwest Albuquerque. Miramontes says it wasn't until she went to the boy's classroom eight hours later that she realized what she had done. There's no ill will, no ill feelings whatsoever. Everybody understands uh, that it was a complete accident, and um, they want to see her released as soon as possible and come back to the family. The judge refused to let Miramontes out of jail. Now our case is going to the district attorney's office. Miramontes is being held on a $50,000 bond and an immigration hold, which means she cannot get out of jail even if she does post bond. It turns out a weapon heist in Rio Rancho is a lot bigger than the police originally thought. Two weeks ago, police reported four rifles with silencers were stolen from a gun store called the Rio Rancho Armory. Well, now we've learned that three dozen handguns were also taken and that one of the four rifles is actually a machine gun. They're not 50 caliber machine guns or anything like that. We're not, we're not talking about military grade weapons, but we are talking about firearms that have the ability to be used against our community. Well, there is a $20,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Rio Rancho police need your help, obviously. If you know anything about this case, give them a call. Schools that got a D or an F from the state's new grading system will be getting some money to make improvements. These struggling schools will split $3.5 million. Some of that will go toward teacher training, and some of it will be put into a program that focuses on getting administrators into the classroom. Laguna Acoma High tested this program last summer and saw math scores increase nearly 22 percent and reading scores increase 7 percent. And Albuquerque Public Schools and the union have come to an early agreement on a new contract in it. Teachers, maintenance workers, and secretaries will not get a pay raise, but teachers will get money for education reform projects. The union set to vote on the contract this week. Heads up, don't be alarmed if you hear small explosions or see black smoke near Kirtland Air Force Base. Sandia National Laboratories will hold some explosive tests starting this morning in the Sandia's Coyote Test Field. That's on the south side of Kirtland Air Force Base. Now, some Albuquerque residents may notice the smoke. Even here, loud bangs associated with the experiment. Again, the tests will be done between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. starting today and last through Friday. So